Mastering the Investment Funds in Canada, Course Exam, A Path to Becoming a Credentialed Mutual Funds Dealer. The Investment Funds in Canada course is a vital stepping stone for anyone aspiring to become a properly credentialed mutual funds dealer in Canada. This certification not only opens doors to various job opportunities in the financial services industry, but also ensures that you possess the knowledge and skills necessary to guide clients through their investment decisions confidently. Get your study materials at Course Tree Learning. To ensure you are fully prepared for the exam, it's crucial to use top-notch study materials. You can access comprehensive study notes, tutorials, flashcards, and exam bank questions tailored for the exam at Course Tree Learning. Visit Course Tree Learning's IFIC study materials for more information. Understanding the IFIC exam structure. The IFIC exam, administered by Moody's Global Education, formerly known as the Canadian Securities Institute, is designed to assess your comprehension of mutual funds and their role in the financial market. The exam is structured into several key sections, each focusing on different aspects of investment funds. Below is a breakdown of the exam structure. Introduction to mutual funds, 10%. Canadian regulatory environment, 15%. Mutual funds products and features, 20%. Taxation of investments, 15%. Retirement and estate planning, 15%. Investment strategies and recommendations, 15%. Ethics and professional responsibility, 10%. Each section of the exam is weighted differently, reflecting its importance in the overall understanding of the mutual funds industry. For instance, mutual funds products and features holds a significant portion of the exam, emphasizing the need for a thorough understanding of the different mutual funds available in the market. Chapter Titles from the IFIC Textbook The IFIC Course Textbook is your primary study resource, and it is divided into chapters that align with the exam sections. Here are the chapter titles. Introduction to Mutual Funds The Canadian Regulatory Environment Types of Mutual Funds Taxation of Mutual Fund Income Retirement Planning Estate Planning Investment Strategies Ethical Considerations in the Mutual Funds Industry these chapters cover everything from the basics of mutual funds to more complex topics like estate planning and ethical considerations. The textbook provides a comprehensive overview of what you need to know, but it's essential to go beyond just reading it. Preparing for the IFIC exam, pass to certification. There are various routes to achieving your IFIC certification. The most common path is through self-study, where you independently review the textbook and other materials. However, many students find that enrolling in an online course or attending workshops can provide additional guidance and structure. Proper preparation is key to success. Here's how you can make the most of your study time. Use proper study notes. High quality study notes can distill the most critical information into digestible formats. They help you focus on what's most important without getting bogged down by less relevant details. Lessons and tutorials. Interactive lessons and tutorials can help reinforce your understanding of complex topics. These resources often provide explanations in a more engaging and accessible way than the textbook alone. Exam Bank Questions with Answers Practicing with exam bank questions is crucial. These questions simulate the format and difficulty level of the actual exam, helping you become familiar with what to expect on test day. Flashcard Programs Flashcards are an excellent tool for memorizing key concepts and terminology. Repetition is vital for retaining information, and flashcards make it easy to review on the go. Challenges and difficulties what students face. Students often report that certain chapters and areas of the exam are more challenging than others. For instance, the taxation of investments? Chapter can be particularly difficult due to the complex rules and regulations that must be understood and applied. Similarly, retirement and estate planning requires a deep understanding of long-term financial strategies, which can be challenging for those new to the field. Other common challenges include understanding regulatory requirements. The Canadian Regulatory Environment section is critical, but can be dense and difficult to navigate. Ethics and professional responsibility. While seemingly straightforward, this section requires a nuanced understanding of ethical practices within the industry, which can trip up some students. Job opportunities after certification. 
Once you've earned your IFIC credential, a wide range of job opportunities becomes available to you. These include roles such as mutual funds dealer, investment advisor, financial planner, wealth management associate, client services representative in financial institutions. Cities like Toronto, Vancouver, Calgary, and Montreal are hotspots for financial services jobs, offering a higher concentration of opportunities. However, smaller cities across Canada also offer roles in financial planning and wealth management, particularly with local banks and investment firms. By thoroughly preparing with the right materials and understanding the exam structure, you'll be well-equipped to pass the IFIC exam and start your career as a credentialed mutual funds dealer.